Hey lovelies and welcome to this week's video. Thank you for joining me. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been here. Um, I hope you're enjoying the uh, the summertime and um, following on from my last video that you've been able to get out in nature a little bit and do a bit of grounding and a bit of, uh, bit of cleansing work for yourself. That'd be great. So this week, following on from that, I wanted to talk about taking time out for yourself. Um, it follows on really from, like I was talking about previously, about getting out in nature and getting some headspace. And taking time out for yourself, regardless of where it is, is also exceptionally important. And being able to take time for yourself is not a luxury. It's an absolute necessity to keep yourself well and healthy and not being burned out. So it's particularly prevalent um, right now um, around me because it is the summer holidays, so there's no school, and um, trying to balance obviously having my children home and also then being able to manage work commitments and also planning and working ahead for when they go back to school in a few weeks time and having everything ready to go of my other projects that I need to start in September. So it's like prepping for those so that I can basically hit the ground running once they go back to school. So that coupled with um, trips out, we've been on holiday, um, other, lots of other things like holiday clubs that they wanna go to, all of these things, keeping them busy, can end up being quite quite overwhelming because everyday life still carries on so there's still everything that would normally have to be done but all of that has to happen on top now so it can get quite hectic and this is quite this is quite similar if your kids aren't even if you do have kids and they're not at school then this is something you have to deal with all the time because they're always home and you may be um, juggling work commitments with that as well so quite often particularly for women there's a lot going on we seem to be the firefighters for everything um, when it comes to holidays, when it comes to going away, when it comes to things like Christmas. Everything seems to fall at our door because we handle it and we always handle it. So why change the habit of a lifetime when you're the one that always does it? So it can get really overwhelming at times and you can get quite stressed and start to feel maybe quite down. It can affect mental health. It can trigger anxiety in people. It can help. You know, it can run down your immune system, and you start catching colds and feeling ill and feeling sluggish. You may not be eating properly because you're not feeling motivated. Lots of things have a knock-on effect from this, and it all leads towards burnout and overwhelm, and everything just comes to a head, and no one knows what to do and that adds to the problem and so the cycle begins again so it's really 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 important to take time for yourself and having this time for yourself is not a luxury and it's really important that other people around you aren't seeing this as a luxury and also appreciate how essential it is for you to have time for yourself you need to give your time value and you need to give yourself value before anybody else will be able to do the same because they just go on what you do. People aren't mind readers. People, if you don't talk about it or you keep handling things, um, some people aren't very perceptive and they'll just think everything is okay. So when everything hits the fan, it's a big shock for everyone involved because everyone's like, oh, well, I thought you were okay. So it's about communication that you do need time for yourself, allowing yourself to accept that you need time for yourself um, and to be able to do it without guilt because if you go to, um, so if you, for instance, are a stay-at-home mum, which I have been for many, many years, um, I'm self-employed now, but was a self, um, but used to go out to work in an office before I had my children, so it's a big adjustment. Um, or you may work nine till five every single day and still have a family to take care of, or you may just work a hell of a lot of hours um, in a job. Um, and then still have other commitments outside of that as well. So we all have our hands full and we all have our um, plates spinning that we have to keep going. We all have different things. And there is no, there, sh there shouldn't be any judgment that no one's time is more worthy of another person's time. As we all have to 
respect each other for the contributions that we bring and what we do and so you need time off too so if you don't go out to work in an office you stay at home and you think right I shouldn't be taking any breaks because I'm at home no because you're still busy and people who go to work in offices by law have to take breaks they have to take breaks after a certain amount of hours they have to have a lunch break and there's all of this working regulations that's all in place so if you are at home and you have tons of stuff to do all the time don't feel that you shouldn't have a break because that's ridiculous that's rubbish um you absolutely deserve to have some downtime and people who um if those of you who are at work all day long and you still have tons of stuff to do when you come home you are still deserving of a break everyone needs downtime every single day you cannot keep an appliance plugged in 24 7 and not expect the motor to burn out if you plugged in your blender or your kettle and you turned it on and you left it running all day every day you would expect that appliance to break and you'd find it pretty odd if it didn't break so same goes for you you need to unplug you need to sit down you need to chill out and sometimes this may not be possible without some real planning some real scheduling that's okay planning and scheduling is my thing that's what i have to do as well um and it's lit it's physically blocking time out and saying this is the time i'm off the clock this is the time for me um whether that be out of the house or somewhere else in the house and communicating to those also in the house that this is this is your time out um or being able to do it maybe when the kids are asleep or early in the morning before anybody gets up depending on what end of the day works best for you and you just need to have this time at an absolute minimum of half an hour every single day just to sit or whether that just be sit in complete silence and drink a cup of coffee is still downtime and it's still chill time it's just enough for your body to just stay still and think oh my goodness thank goodness for that <laughs> I wanted to. I needed to have some time out, or it could be, or it could be that you go out for a little walk, or go out for a run, or watch your favorite TV show, a couple of episodes on Netflix, or something like that. Whatever it is for you, there's no right or wrong. It's whatever it helps you to unwind and helps you switch off. It could be just going to have a little nap, anything. But and if you need to schedule it in, then schedule it in. No excuses. It's essential for your health and well-being. If you have something physically wrong with you and a doctor prescribes you um, medication, you take that medication and you take the required dosage every single day without fail because that's what you need to do to keep yourself healthy. Same thing. It's a prescription to take time for yourself and have time out. 30 minutes minimum every single day doing something for you that makes you happy that helps you feel relaxed and pretty soon after a while it becomes second nature it becomes a habit everyone else around you begins to appreciate that this time is really important for you um, but it has to start with you and it has to start with you appreciating your own value and appreciating the value of your time is no less valuable than anybody else's you deserve it everyone needs a break everyone needs to recharge and have some downtime same goes for you and I am pretty certain if a friend came to you with the same worries you would say the exact same thing to them you would tell them to have some time out to chill out to take it easy and you need to take your own advice sometimes it's the most hard advice to take but take your own advice take my advice please and take some time out for yourself it will do the world of good and keep it consistent and keep it going and you'll find it makes a really big difference. You really will. So go ahead and try that. That's your homework between now and the next video. Start taking time for yourself and um, let me know how you get on. Let me know what it is that you like to do down in the comments. Is it Netflix? Is it reading? Is it sleeping? Is it just sitting and drinking coffee without letting it go cold? Um, so that's um, that's your homework. That's your task. Share with me in the comments what it is that you want to do. And... 
There's also still time to enrol in the Crystal Remedy um, before it all kicks off on the 9th of September. There's a couple of videos back um, explaining a lot more about what the Crystal Remedy is. Um, it's the kind of the 12 week program that I have running from September. I'll put the link in the description so you can go check that out and have a look at that and hopefully get yourself enrolled because it's a really, really good system to get you kick started and hopefully shape up for a great 2020 for you as well. So in the meantime as well, take a look at um, my playlist. If you haven't before, then hit the button and subscribe and keep up to date with my videos. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.